Hey friends and family, and if you're just joining the channel, welcome, this is Aaron with AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard, and today we are gonna be talking to you about this beauty. This is our Tropic Sweet Apple. This is the first week of March, and we have had a phenomenal, phenomenal winter and spring. And we've been getting hundreds of chill hours this year. In fact, I think we're gonna hit maybe the 600, maybe 700 chill hour mark this year when normally we only get about 300. So a lot of these trees, they do require that chill hour requirement, about 300, 400, 500, some of them only 200, some of them no chill hours, and they'll still produce fruit. So I wanted to get you a follow-up video, and I'll leave that previous video in the description below. But I wanted to show you the difference on when we defoliated this tree. In fact, I left I left a few branches with leaves on and it looks like they've already started leafing out and flowering out. You can see the flowers coming out. Like I said, this is the Tropic Sweet Apple Tree and this is going to be its second season in the ground. It'll be a three-year-old tree. So I wanted to show you the difference on when we defoliate these trees manually. Like I showed you in that previous video, this defoliation increases the dormancy period and the chill hours, theoretically. And what that does is it encourages tree to basically shove more growing hormones and more nutrients to the ends here and to some of the other areas where we can get flower buds and it delays the waking up process. And as you can see here, a lot of these branches are very leggy and just the tips are starting to wake up and all these other little tiny branches haven't really woken up completely. Leaf bud leafing out. But over here I left the example of not taking the leaves off and you can clearly see this tree has woken up. It's already shooting out several inches of growth in just a matter of a week or two and it's already flowering. So hopefully we'll get some flowers pollinated here. And hopefully we'll get some apples. Now my little experiment that I'm doing here is a twofold. It's gonna show you that obviously taking the leaves off does increase the dormancy period. You can see this side I did defoliate and they're just barely starting to wake up. They haven't really started punching out those branches. But this side has, clearly. You can see a good example right there. So this side of the tree is completely awake and we're getting flowers, but this side isn't. This side's still dormant. It's still producing all those buds and they're just starting to wake up right now. So this, the experiment is, let's see what happens on this side versus this side. Now make sure you follow us throughout the growing season to see if we get any apples and if we do get apples, which side is it going to be on? Is it going to be on this side where we defoliated the tree? Or this side where we left it alone and it's already producing flowers? Which is a good thing. Maybe we'll get apples on both sides. Maybe the apples will be better on this side than this side. Who knows? We'll figure this out together. So that's the theory. The theory is increasing dormancy, which will hopefully produce more viable fruit flowers, fruiting flowers, buds, and give this tree an overall boost of energy when it does start to wake up. And it's waking up. And this side's waking up a lot faster than this side. So kind of like there's your proof, or there's an example I should say, that defoliating the tree does increase dormancy. All right, so this tree's self-pollinating. Like I said, it's a tropic sweet apple. It's bred to pollinate itself. They've got male and female parts in there. But to increase yields and fruit quality, you can add another variety of apple trees that wake up about the same time. This is the Anna apple. She is loaded up with fruiting spurs and flowers this year. We kind of a rest, it was kind of a rescue at the the big box store. It had been sitting out all summer and it was looking pretty 
pretty scrawny when we got it. So we gave it all of our nutrients and fertilizers and love and care and mulch and all that good stuff. And man, she is waking up. We did not defoliate. She kind of defoliated herself because uh, she wasn't feeling well. But we definitely took care of her throughout the growing season. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, if you've tried this before or if you're kind of like on the fence if it works or not, here's, here's your example of it doing it. Stay tuned. Let's see if we get any apples off this tree. It is fully mature. A lot of these branches are pencil width thick, so they can handle at least one or two apples. So we'll see what this tree does this year. Fingers crossed we do get some apples. All right. I do appreciate you watching. Give this video a nice like, thumbs up. If you, like I said, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, or suggestions, please leave them down in the suggestion box below. Hello, hello. Hi. We do love hearing from all of our viewers. So from my family to yours, thanks for watching.